Okay, tonight, tonight we have two student athletes that are going to speak to us. We call this the student athlete response. I've asked all the coaches from the men and the women's side to nominate uh, student athletes that are strong in leadership, strong in character, strong academically. And tonight we have is Ethan Turner from Loyola, New Orleans. If Ethan, if you come forward. All right, listen up. Ethan is from Mandeville, Louisiana. He's a finance major, graduating in May. He has a perfect 4.0 GPA. He has already accepted a job with the financial uh, with the financial analyst as uh, as a financial analyst with J.P. Morgan Chase in Dallas. He leaves in May to start his um, his training there. His coach says about this about Ethan. Ethan leads by example. He's poised, charismatic, and approaches everything he does as if, as if as if it's the most important thing he will do that particular day. Ladies and gentlemen, would you help me welcome Ethan Turner? Before I uh, before I begin, I'd like to thank Commissioner Hall and Coach Stacy for uh, letting me speak tonight. For those who don't know me, I probably seem like I don't talk much, and for those who do know me, I probably don't seem like I shut up. So I'll try to keep it in between these two. Um, so if you would have told me five years ago today that I'd be standing here at a conference banquet. I would have assumed I was someone's guest. Um, I grew up in a baseball family. My dad played baseball at uh, Tulane University. And since I could walk, I had a, a glove on. When I made the decision to quit baseball and pursue basketball when I was 13, I thought my family thought I was crazy. I couldn't run fast, I couldn't jump high, and I was never the most coordinated. I felt like maybe I had made a mistake, yet looking back uh, over the years, it's been the best decision I ever made. My family has been there with me through it all. My mom and dad have traveled far and wide to see me play over the last four years, never missing a home game, and going to all the conference schools at least once. I would be failing them and myself if I didn't give them the thanks they deserved. And so when I made the decision to attend Loyola my senior year of high school, I knew I made the right choice the first time I stepped on campus for my visit. I enjoyed being so close to home, yet feeling I was so far away. And I liked the ability to go to school in such a city that was so vibrant, and I liked that I would have the freedom to pursue the dream that I wanted to. I came to my freshman year as a walk-on and I had no idea what to expect in terms of playing time, but I knew that I was so lucky. I knew there were thousands of kids who would do anything to have the chance to be in my position and have the chance to play their sport at the next level. My only mission that first year was to outwork everyone and outperform expectations anyone might have had for me. If we had 6 a.m. practice, I did everything I could to be the first in the gym and the last to leave, and I made sure that I wouldn't be outworked that day. I knew nothing would be given to me, and I have my parents to thank for that life lesson. I worked my tail off to go and take what I thought I earned. One of my friend's dads used to tell us when we were growing up that there are kids all around the world who are dying to be in our shoes and have the opportunities that we are lucky enough to have. And if we didn't act on those opportunities, then we'd be in the crowd looking up at those, those kids uh, on the podium instead of us being on the podium, winning the awards and giving the speeches. So going to Loyola, I did everything in my power to make sure that this this did not become my reality, and I used all the opportunities I was lucky enough to have, and I made the most of them. To say my time as a student athlete was always easy would be lying. There were many early mornings and late nights that, that I questioned my position, but at the end of the day, I tried to see the big picture and how the student athlete experience was the best decision I made. My experience at Loyola can be best described not by my words, but more by my experiences. Loyola prides itself on its ex experiential learning and my experiences have helped me grow in who I am internally and externally. From 6 a.m. conditioning and practices, I learned how to keep myself disciplined and learned that no wall was too high to climb. From our team chaplain, Father Greg's speeches, I learned compassion for others, patience in the defeats, and humility in the victories. From traveling to away games, I learned the importance of communication and teamwork. From my former and current teammates, I learned the importance of culture and leadership. And from the daily grind of, of weights to class to practice, I learned to live in the moment and enjoy every day like it was my last. Loyola has given me many things, and I am eternally grateful for it all. I met some of my best friends here, I have played some of my best basketball, and luckily I was given the tools to find my career path. Coach Stacy, you saw something in me that no other coach saw and gave me the opportunity of a lifetime. You helped me develop into the best version of myself on and off the court. I have grown tremendously over the last four years, and if I were given the chance, I wouldn't change anything. Thank you.